Hi everyone, my name is Dachi, and today's video let's talk about the tier 11 Zara. Well, uh, I don't know how, how to say the name, so I decided to say Zara because I'm my captain of Zara. So here we go, easy. Oh yeah, by the way, because Zara also has a two turn uh, in the front, two turn in the back, so here it goes. Good that. Don't bring it on me. Is that I just love Zara. Here it go, that's it. Well let's get into it. So what's the difference between the tier 10 Vanessa and what the tier what the tier one than Zara? Because that they're not same ship. Well, the way it play is similar, but I do prefer mostly Zara Venetia than the, the tier 11 Zara. But the thing is, tier 11 Zara actually came, design style came from the Napoleon. That actually is a little unique due to the fact that the Napoleon is a tier 10. He challenged the heavy cruiser with a close quarter combat as a secondary system. While this thing is different, this is not a secondary, this is a still carry the, the Venetia gun requirement. The difference is with the guns. So, let's get into the thing I need about the ship. Hull design. Well, let's get to the uh, ocean first, because why not? Because we want to look at the hull. Hull design. First, you got the front nose, the 25 millimeter. Even though my mic's kind of far away, but you can still hear me, so here we go, it didn't matter. Front nose is 25 millimeter. Front, uh, front nose, middle nose, more by saying uh, the middle part of it in, uh, between the water part. So, 40 meter, it means you still be able to bounce down the AP shell here as a happy cruiser. Yay! I mean, you got a Zara right here, but nice over here. I mean, he also got 40 meter. It means it literally came from, came from the Venezia home to here. So, yeah. And you can actually have a better hull uh, protection for the Citadel. That are 165 meter there on the side. On the side belt over here. So yeah. And then the entire this is the hull is made out of 40 meter And 30 on the top, the deck armor. So yeah. And then you get a superstructure with a 60 meter Coming tower. It's completely different. This is that you get a 250 on the front and you got a 120 on the side. And you get a top one with 150. And turret, we don't need turret to talk about it anyway, because there are napling turret, I mean, you, you just look at napling turret system, it's the same thing. So here it goes. Tails, 25 meter, that's it. So you don't have the ability, you don't have the, uh, 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 the, uh, 20 meter protect for the back. So yeah, just like carry the next right here. So yeah, every, well, it's actually different, because next actually do you have a 40 meter, so that's a little different though. Pretty much, as well, because this actually came from the Napoleon. I mean, except the far has a weaker Napoleon armor. That's it. Because it's at the 221. While the OB, the uh, tier 11 now has the 165. Here we go. Continues. Now, survivability. We get 61k hit point, 0.4k hit point, with a 90 minute protecting percentage of the protected train for the torpedo. So, like the Napoleon over here, D9.2, as a tier 10 heavy cruiser with a 22 percentage. Venezia, 51% with a 28 protection over there. Okay, well, I kind of don't know what, but uh, yeah, that kind of sort of downgrade of it. I mean, you cost some armor, you have better removability, that's for sure. So yeah, because of the pretty much 38 knot, 38 knot, but you get the better term, so here it goes, but that's a different story. So let's continue. Now, main guns. So, if you don't know what the Napoleon guns are, the Napoleon guns are from 254 murder. Yes, this is also a 254 murder. Tier 11 Zara. And bangs! It's different than the Nessia guns that are two sweets. So, yes, they are different, but they're actually bigger guns. I mean, they're actually the same real speed as the Nessia. So, I mean, I can uh, forget to get that extra gun reduction from the Nessia because Nessia has five guns rather than four guns. So yeah, you get 15 shovel from the Venezia, where you can then get 12 shovel out from the uh, tier 11 tower. So yeah. But the upgrade is, you get a little extra damage. It means you have a high chance to blow the destroyer up. Kind of. I mean, you just see that shell kind of have a... Do, do the, the less chain hit the destroyer for some reason. But otherwise, it still hurts. Because they are SAP gun rather than the AP. When the HE. Just remember, Napping do not carry SAP in the main gun, they only carry AG and AP, so there are different. Even though Napping is really good in the tier 10, but then the main is a good for another way. But the thing is, this is actually really better, because now your main gun carry the SAP, making it really good. I mean, that downside you don't have secondary that six point times 2 that only goes to AP, AG, so it didn't matter anyway, so here it goes. 
So, let's give you the guns. You get two guns in the front, two guns in the back. There are triple gun turrets. By the way, gun angles are not like the next yeah, gun angle. But we will be switching between Napoleon and uh, we will be switching between the uh, tier 11 Zawa and the Venezia because when we want to compare it. So, if you don't know the problem in the Venezia, is that you look at a second turret placement. They don't fire forward. Yes! They just don't go forward, it means they didn't go sideways fire. So, it means most time you bow it, you don't even shoot that second turret. You didn't fire the front two. The first and third turret. It means. Five. I mean, I can give up one turret for a bigger gun. That's okay. I can give up that. Because if I got bowing, if that third turret, the second turret is not going to stay in the middle, it's, it's not worth it. It's, I'll just rather have a bigger gun. So here it goes. That's worth it. So, reload speed. 18.5. By the way, that is reload, reload speed. And yes, this is actually with the same reload speed as Venetia. Remember that. They're the same exactly reload speed, but the Tier 11 Zara has a bigger guns. So here it goes. Bigger gun, bigger damage. Well, at the cost of your DPS. Yes, I mean, you do. I mean, because you do have less guns, right? That's why. Because you, get less, you lose 3 shell fire at 1 salvo. So, I mean, it is still the same with the DPS, just a less damage. Well, we're gonna talk about the damage soon. Here it goes. Shell switching is the same as the one next year, the real speed, so here it goes, it doesn't matter. The problem is the gun range. Due to the fact that Venezia can carry spotter points, but the tier 11 Zala doesn't have spotter points. So, because we're gonna talk about that later, when you get to the consumable. Gun range, 7.8. While the Venezia, we got the 7.1. I mean, they're a serious gun range, right? Why, but why do Venezia has actually better gun range? Well, because of spotter point problem. Because Venezia has a carry spotter point, while well, tier 11 Zawa does not have spotter point or any type of point. If you can see it, there is no point launcher here, so here it goes. Yeah, I mean, you look at the back, you get a little, a little uh, helicopter. Right? I mean, right? I think that's the helicopter one. Well, anyway, so continue. So, damage. They got a 254 meter gun damage, aiming they got a higher damage and penetration. 7k damage, 7k maximum damage with the SAP. So if you remember, keep the eyes on it, that's the SAP, not AG. So here we go, repeat that. So, you can compare a look at the, the, the Venezia over here. You get a 5.2. It means the damage is 2k increase. So, if you remember the, the gun that lost is 3 turrets. So, if you're using a map doing right here, I mean, don't even need calibrate, it's a 1.8. So, here it goes. Pretty much. I mean, you get a uh, pretty much like a uh, uh, 5 point. Pretty much 5.6. So, yeah. You get a 5.6. So, it means it's actually totally fine doing that much of the turret. It's just that, yeah, it's the one extra damage for the cell. That's pretty much all. Penetration is 554 murder. It means you actually penetrated more damage out of it. That's actually good. It's really good penetration right there. AP 6.15. By the way, since this is actually not playing guns, yes, it's actually the same damage. So here it goes with the AP. It means you can play this battle between Venezia and the Napoleon at the same time because Napoleon do fire AP most of the time. So here it goes. Whatever fire AG. Screw you. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Ah, uh, this is a joke right here. So here it goes. <laughs> this is a joke. Continue. Secondary? Well, we can't even know that part. It doesn't matter. You're mostly shooting from the range. Well, here's the thing. You're mostly like, you're not going close to the back. So here it goes. Torpedoes! Well, I don't even worry about talking about torpedoes because they're just a Venetian torpedo. I mean, they're the exact same thing. The exact same range, exactly the same. Except you have an extra torpedo on each torp too. So you get four torpedoes on the two. That's it. That's the same thing you fire for eight. Okay, go. That's it. Yeah, that's why they're the same thing. They're 75 km range. They're just exactly the same damage, exactly the same real speed. They're just going sad by the slow. Then it's a Italian torpedo. Okay, airstrike. Goodness, I am not talking about that anymore. I'm I'm done with the airstrike thing. I everything is saying 
There you go. I'm in the target range. A call range. That's it. I'm done with it. There you go. Can get you? A gun. Yes. Uh, you get only two A gun. They only made close range. So, uh, I mean, you kind of have a long range. But they're mad. They only fire from 4.6. So, they're just trying to treat it as a mid range. So, here you go. Yep. Damage. We found the story 3 as a combined damage. Mid range. 617, hit rate 90%, from 04 column range to closer, long range, 56, hit rate 90%, from 4.6, that's your maximum range. Remember, the uh, long range is an explosion type, so yes, so different. Explosion, you get the uh, maximum damage is 1,600. Now, you get 3 explosion, and you only fire from 4.6 to 3.5, it means good luck with the enemy's killer coming towards your way. Any city comes your way, you're gonna have to either have to smoke or we have to get a lot of turn. Otherwise, good luck, you're gonna pretty much get foxy by a carrier most of the time. Due to the fact it came and go dark with your concealment, I mean you're mostly gonna be in concealment because you're gonna need your bill with if you wanna fire faster. So here you go, even though you have smoke damage. Now can you hear Speed! A, sorry, 8.9 knots. I mean, you go like with the nets, yeah, they're almost the same speed, except like by not looping fight faster, that's it. But you got bigger circle turning, it makes it a little harder to turn sometimes. So yeah. Well, you get a better rate of rather time because due to the fact that it is a rather build. Well, we got my Manetia has a legendary module on it, so it's a little different. So I give up on the uh, rather build to for an extra smoke build. Now, concealment. Oh, if you didn't remember I talked about my A bill for the anti concealment, yes, you do not want to go concealment. I mean, the difference between the next that point that you want to go concealment and the next that you want to go concealment, they're saying you can't. You want to go concealment? Good luck. I mean, you can't go concealment, it's good, but you all the thing about the ship is all about your guts. That's it. So, yeah. It also means you want your gun real faster. So we're going to talk about what we're going for the build. And why you don't have spotter point. And why can the engine might help you a little bit, but also it kind of kill you a little bit. So, because you have a range. 50.4. Smoke. Can you buy, uh, first, you buy the air is 10.8. And yeah, fire your gun after you're putting in the smoke, it's just jumping to it too. It may just kind of get a little worse. Yeah. Well, continue. So yeah, I mean, I like this ship. The thing is, the gun range are kind of weak. That's pretty much all. I hope I have a spot point on it, but I didn't have it. So here it goes. Now, equipment. Consumable. You only got two or three. Yes, you got to a freaking slow boss, so good luck. You get that damage control with the standing one with, with the cruiser. Here, go where just gonna skip that completely. You get a repair party, by the way, all of them is with the shipping attendant. So, here, go. I don't you I need to repair that too much. So, yeah, it means three, two, stand. There you go. And you get a smoke right here. That's it. That's it. You don't have a spot points. Yeah, your gun is gonna stuck on a. It's 17.8 for the target unless you have a put a range build, but I do not recommend you build a range build that will kill your damage and kill DPM right there, DPS over there. So here it goes. So, yeah. I mean, even my Manessi has a smoke build since it has a legendary module on it. So here it goes. So you get extra charge, you get 5 7 up instead of 5. Yes! And that actually, I don't know what. I got three charts, and maybe, maybe, maybe I actually had two, one more charts left in the battle. That's totally fine. But the thing is, this is at the one activation time because the uh, upgrade. But rather than saying it's upgrade because it has. I didn't even have an upgrade with my smoke, but this is already a one second smoke right now. Even though it has a song to charge with 2 minutes, but because it is the legendary module, because charging speed reduces by uh, half, so there it goes. But if you look at it here, you get half the time, and you still have that standard recharging speed. For like 3 minutes! 
What is going on? I thought it's an upgrade version, and it's still getting weaker. I mean, you, I mean, it's going to upgrade it. That's it. That's it. The gun are bigger. That's all it is. I mean, you look at the Napoleon, but I pretty much feel falling from the Napoleon a little bit because Napoleon actually using that smoke tie. So it means this thing is literally using a Napoleon. Copy paste with the extra turrets. Taking some secondary down and put a little extra turrets right there. Here it goes. This is like. Napoleon, Venezia. Let's just say what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, combine the guns. Let's just say, I mean, it's not that Venezia line, right? But you had to use SAP gun, as main gun. But I mean, Napoleon didn't have an SAP, but had big guns. So why don't just combine together with a Napoleon gun with a well, carry SAP, but then add the SAP secondary. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Well, let's also take another secondary because I mean, it's the Nap Venezia, right? It won't be close in combat, so. Pretty much gonna be stay out of range. Okay, sure. What about smoke? Well, uh, it means I'm a Nancy line, but the uh, hole is from the napping, right? They should have cured the whole napping system. Consumable. So, yeah, let's put a napping inside here. So, yeah, they decided to put a goddamn napping hole design inside here. And guess what? Even napping have a fighter. Oh, I screwed that. I don't even care about a fighter. But hey, you guys got an extra place. It actually points, at least. Literally. And you don't even have one. Seriously. Ah. Oh. I, I like this ship. It's just... I mean, I like it. It's just that I kind of hope there's at least a points with it. Oh, well, anyway, I mean, they have to carry the napping system up over here. So here it goes. There's some cost. So. Ah. I can have to deal with that. So you get to see smoke. But then it's not smoke. So here it goes. That's it. They are not Venetia smoke. There's a the tier 11, but that one really didn't happen smoke. Well, now. Upgrade. What are we gonna go for? Sub 1. I actually think about taking out a tourist modification 1 for the main armor mod 1 because. Scoot that! I don't care about secondary. I don't care about AA because they are not existent. So there it goes. Slot to you. I mean, engine room protection. You don't want to get a sticker knocked down, engine knocked down, as a heavy cruiser. Because if you're gonna knock down, well, uh, and you put your fire out and you just got an engine knocked down. Good luck with your concealment because if it can go dark or smoke is. Kind of went down for at least like three minutes. You're not gonna go dark. Even if you build full concealment, that is still at 12.4. I mean, you still cannot go dark. So, yeah. But can you use? Saw three. You get smoke generator modification one. Here we go. That's it. That's what you need. What you need it for. That's the way you're gonna need it. Can you? Saw four. Still getting more vacation one. Since I am, I am using like into concealment and I run a better case rudder system. So yeah, I want to turn better. So that's my slot four. Slot five I should carry a steer gear. So allow him to be able to turn six point one second uh, during the turn speed for the one day turn. So yeah. I mean otherwise I mean that's not bad, but I'd rather just come uh, put in a rudder build. If I'll go for the KC element, that's okay. But Rather Bill is mostly what I'm focusing on right now. I like Rather Bill more. So yeah. Being I'm gonna kite in because I want to my guns real faster with the Captain Bill. Saw 6. Main mom and Mod 3. You want that DPS. You want that extra damage. Without that, you're going for range. You're gonna lose the damage. You're gonna lose the DPS. So here you go. You're not gonna do anything. If you're gonna end the KC element, it's gonna be tough. And especially if you don't have to stop it. Make it a little harder to play. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, it's gonna get myself killed. Yes! Say about that, the problem of this thing, if you build into concealment, yes! Say your guns are 7.8 and your concealment is 15.4, it means anything that are falling in your gun range, out of gun range, and it shoot at you, you know, the only thing you can do is to kite out. You can't bow into it, you have to kite out. 
Says you don't have a spot opening, you mean you can't shoot the thing that are outside your gun range. So here you go, you get stuck with that gun the whole game. Back good luck with that motor cruiser are over 18 column range gun, so here it goes. Motor cruiser. Into a 10. So yeah, good luck with that. It's all about how you have a spot plane making you want to hit with your gun, so yeah. Now, let's get into the captain build. Uh, but I want to do that, uh, I didn't have a certain point captain, I did use like three points on this, so yeah, this is a captain now, so here it goes. I'm put my lovely Zarat on this ship. So yeah, it's a lovely Zara. Have a problem? That I keep it, keep going. So, slot one, gun feeder, slot two, consumer enchantment. By the way, why that? Because you want to actually a smoke system. That's it. That's the thing I'm going for. It's a smoke system. Slot three, I didn't arrest. Shipping attendance. That's pretty much all. Slot four, top grade gunner. The reason why I go for concealment because I want that eight percent reduction for my gun reload. So yeah. Then you gotta go for outnumbered. The little better one. I mean, you gotta go for the for 9, but uh, I mean, I'm gonna go for the concealment, so, so you got. And if you go for this thing, you get an extra gun damage. Yes! You're exactly get detected while firing your gun. No matter what. Oh, wait, guess what? You already detected because your gun is exactly zooming one bigger than your. Concealment. So, I mean, you could add something in, some increase damage right there. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, let's do a calculation. So, ah, here, I got that one. So, did you see anything? You did see that in casting over here? Did you see casting skin? So, here you go. I can do you. So, let's say you have the guns like that. You got like four guns right here. That's 12 shell right there. And you times 7k. I hope that's a number of swipe, but it's an 84k damage. But, if you do it again with a tall shell, times 7700, that much. I mean, it looks better. I mean, the damage actually increased a lot. I mean, even though they're XP shells, I mean, yeah, it's really not bad. So, it means, I mean, it's worth it. If you don't get a cell killer, I mean, you fire a gun, you'll still get a 7.8. Doesn't matter. That's how any consumer builds look like. And now, we're going to do the not any consumer build. So, pretty much, that's what any consumer builds look like after that. By the way, in home fire shell is really important. Or you can go for a turn speed, to extra turn speed. Either one is fine, but I recommend it's a gun feeder because you want to turn your guns faster all the time. So, you get a lower, lower, or fast, slower turns. So yeah, super nice again, it will increase speed, it's actually better. So yeah, or you can go for long range kiting for income fire alert, just in case any shit that shoot you at you, you don't know where it came from, so you didn't see it, so here it goes. Now, let's get into the consumer build. Here's a consumer build a lot of time. Consumer expert, by the way, I mean outnumber is actually important too, so we're gonna put that on. So, there's your uh, consumer bill over here as a simple point nine. And by the way, we're also gonna put that concealment on the ship. So you'll be able to see a better style over here. So we're gonna put an upgrade on the concealment as a surgeon point nine. Now we're gonna put the uh Jackson bill over here. The concealment. You get a 12.5 as your consumer build. It's not bad. You are gonna after you gun firing, it's actually the same thing as the smoke. So it means I actually uh, Better to build like anti concealment because you always had that 8% reload increased. So, I do recommend is always go for the uh, anti concealment build. So, I think it feels better. So, yeah, that's what my opinion is. And for me, I'll give this ship a 9 out of 10 and 9 to 10 out of 10. I mean, the spot I kind of redux a little bit, but uh. My first key experience, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, the, the, the output of damage is actually really good. You can put SAP shower here, it, total fire is 91 shell. Damage is 11.47k right there. Total fire is 37. So, yeah, not 
not bad. AP, I did fire a few AP shell, actually gets on Citadel, so yeah, it's not bad. So yeah. The problem is I didn't fire like uh, one, two turrets, three turrets, because the other turret got blocked it up. So, yeah, the problem is our fire angle. So yeah. Otherwise, it's actually really good. If you be able to handle this to cost. Yes, if you know, this is a tier 11 ship. It means, yes, good luck with the cost of it, because even with the premium, I mean, if you don't get the top, you're not gonna pay, you go, you're not gonna get paid. If you well premium, even you get on the top of the top two, three, ten, you're not gonna get any reward because you're gonna still pay the cost. So yeah. Otherwise, I mean, I like this ship. I like it. It's just, I'm not gonna play it just because... I, I mean, I love the ship. It's just, I don't wanna play it due to the fact it's just gonna cause my credit. It's the credit killer. So here we go. All the tier 11, 12 ship is all credit killer. So it means I'd rather play my Zara Renatia than the tier 11 Zara. So yeah. In the end, I will give this ship a 9 to 10 out of 10. So yeah. Pretty good ship. I like it actually. It just... I just now play it for the cost. But I just play for fun. So, yeah. But I just want to play it because it's going to cost me a lot of credit. So I got this thing for like a... Uh, Wait, how much did I got? Oh, wait, let me double check how much I got. Let me, let me just play out. So I'm gonna show you guys how much is it. Uh, yeah, action. Total cost me 240k. I mean, you, when you got early access, it's kind of cost a lot. But then when you be able to buy it when uh, finishing completely, that's it's like a two patch later. Uh, pretty much a 56k, 60k, 67. Uh, more so yes yeah it means i pay like uh 3.5 times more just to review the ship for one game and i never touch it again everybody just go there to my other tier 11 ship for the early access oh yeah well i mean i just want to show you guys a little bit so you guys at least know if you want to buy it or not or you want to grind for it i mean it's actually a really good ship i like it if it's not because of cost, I will actually love to play multiple times. Because I like not playing, but I never play my not playing because I just don't like it in the rhythm battle. I just don't like the play style of it because it's a secondary. Secondary is not bad. I like it actually. I built my secondary for my all both like crew and battleship. But the problem is the guns. Well, if we, well, this thing came out with a, a tier 11 Zara, I actually like the guns. As a cost of secondary. So here it goes. So yeah. I like this ship. So pretty much. 9 to 10 out of 10. And now, let's go to the horn. The end. I mean, not bad horn. That's pretty much all. So yeah. There it goes. Well, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the future. I mean, I'm gonna be out for at least a week. So it means I'm gonna go for a vacation. Yay! Finally, I can take a little break from the video game. Go do some other thing from the live. Go do some other event. So yeah, just to kind of try to avoid the video game a little bit. Try to stay out a little bit, try some little break. So, yeah, I did too much radio of it. But I did all three games. But also, literally, World War Shit and the other thing. So, yeah, I mean, other thing, yeah, it's really, really not bad. I like it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the video, next video, for next week. So, yeah, me, Inachi, is out of me. I'm actually interested into the Tree Kingdom one. So, yeah. Me, Inachi, is out of you. Here it goes. The video is right over here. Put it in the end.